Hoi hoi crew! Welcome back to Momodora. We are in a really rad boss fight at the moment, which I've been working so far. I wouldn't go that far. I've steadily improved my craft. Let's see, now that I've had about a week or so off, if everything I remember has disappeared from my memory and I suck turbo bad on my first go, but we'll see, we'll see. I remember I need to play more conservative on the footsies. Rolling through her attacks in the first phase is a little difficult. In phase two, when she starts make, f faking jump attacks after her combos, rolling through is actually beneficial. Still gonna need to be good on that footsie game. And jumping over also seemed to be a little risky, as I recall. Like, her, her hitbox on her sword is pretty big. So even with a double jump, I would need to really land that jump over her perfectly, not to screw it up. We'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Partner Fennel. I don't even remember what we were really doing specifically before we got here. We're trying to find the Queen, of course, that's the ultimate goal, is to get find the way to the Queen and get her to stop cursing our homeland or something like that. But right now my world is consumed by this badass partner, Fennel. All right. Oh, she was about to... She was about to go in with those. Whoa. Oh. Ooh. Cancelled her. Whoa. So you gotta keep keep my distance when she gets those swings in. Wow, look at that timing there. That was actually really... Wow. Ooh. That's what that was. I forgot what that effect was. Oh! Wow, barely. Oy. I still don't have a good counter for her, like, dash in. Ugh. Well, that was just me being sloppy. That was me being turbo sloppy. Oh, Ooh, she's got me cornered pretty good. I'm cursed. I can't use items in my state of cursiness. That's unfortunate. I cancelled her lightning attack. Eesh. Oh, she's in phase two. Ow. Okay. Well done, Fennel. I'll give you that one for sure. Uh can you skip through can you just Oh you can you can skip through that whole dialogue just by doing that. Cool. Oh, hey, look, I timed the roll perfectly. You can roll through her when she does her dash. Good to know. Wah! Cool. Oh, nice! Whoa, what the? I'm sorry, are her hitboxes bro? Okay, no, they are not. I was like, what the heck is going on? Suddenly, I'm just in there. Oh, I didn't need to heal yet. She hadn't done that much damage. Gosh darn. There she does that. Gonna pop a heal just in case. Oh, oh. Lightning. Oh, uh, see, see what I mean about the huge hitbox on her backswing? It's not that simple. Oh, you don't. Oh yeah! I think I got the right range for to dodge that. Oh, I wonder if that's what cursed me is those things on the ground because they weren't doing damage to those waves. All right, well done, Fennel. I'll give her that one. I got sloppy there at the end. I started speculating because I'm not sure what caused the curse. Either it was me standing ne next to that glowing wall, or it is those like waves she sends out on her ground attacks because. They didn't seem to damage me, the flames on the ground, or whatever those effects were. Let's see, how did I do this? I was able to just skip this. How did I do that? Huh. I don't know how I skipped this last time. Now I can't do it. Oh! Oh, you just hit start twice, cool. Uh, okay, see, I gotta just be patient when I see those flashes. 
Like that. Oh no, she did double climb. But she does seems to do very small damage on her dashes. In you notice? Oh yeah. Ah, okay. I should have been brave and gone in on that one. I took a sword for my troubles. Oi! Wow! Oh, okay, I got too close on that one. Oh, you can't hurt her when she's in her that animation. Fair enough. Oh! Just stay patient, stay patient. Ugh! Big damage if you can get her in that combo. Ah, oh, no, why do I keep trying that? I... Why did I do it so good on the first couple of times? I don't know. I had really good luck on in my in that previous round and just rolling through her attack. Oy! Rolling through her attacks like that. Oh boy. I knew this wasn't gonna be easy. It's still not definitely not gonna be easy this fight. But uh, I'm not I'm not uh, freaking out yet. So far. I'm still enjoying the loop of this fight. Oh. Oy. Interrupted her lightning. Oy. Oh, oh, now I got greedy. Oh, that's so cool, her rolling away and me, like, rolling in after her. Oh, except that I be careful with my distance. Ugh. Alright, she's gonna power up. No, you don't! Ooh, that was risky. Because you can stagger her sometimes, but not consistently, so that's a risky strat. Ugh. Ugh. Eh? Get in on her! She's almost done! Ooh, yeah! Ooh, that power-up fruit really was what, what gave me the edge there. Why, my lord... Ooh, yeah. Okay. I, I thought last time, last time I did this, um, last episode, my was destroyed in that fight by uh, me trying to get that power-up fruit. What is it called? The Crystal Seed. Trying to get that off in the fight, and she got me, and she almost did that this time as well. Like, I... Because it kind of threw me off the loop when I had to really focus on juggling inventory there. But, in the end, it all... panned out all right, didn't it? <laughs> it, uh... It, uh... I managed to, because I had enough health items, I managed to managed to kind of tank myself through that one. I guess the challenge mode is to do that without using the... Uh, well, challenge number one is doing that without using the attack power-up, and challenge number two is doing that with no health items, of course, but... A Crest Fragment. Its essence grants you the ability to a new bow charge level. Really now? Ooh, look at this. Oh my god, that takes forever to load, but what's it like? Oh my god, we're gonna Legolas it up here. I have to try and remember to run around with this thing charged up. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, this is the regular area I'm using, but it... I like how it's like a more calm version of the Fennel boss fight music. It makes it feel cool. Brrrrap! That guy got brrrrapped. Now... That didn't really help me very much in... Progressing. Now did it. So, I feel like there's only one place left for us to go, then that would be the Ash Chamber, or whatever it was called. The Ashen Caverns? That, that thing downstairs. You little scalamania. So that's a pretty big boom as well, but the Rapid Shot, Turbo Rapid Shot, is something else. No, no, what am I doing? <laughs> Trying to hit the thing. <laughs> Alright, good jam, good jam. That's, uh, that's... I I said the best boss 
I guess it wasn't that crazy in the end, the Fenway fight. But that was a pretty good boss, so... Uh, I'm a... Oh. Oh, that'll kill you that fast, will it? Alright then. I'm just saying, that was a pretty good jamboree, that boss fight against Fennel. It was a very cool, cool challenge. Wow, those really, really hurt. Yeah, but the hell. Fortunately, those shurikens don't... ...kill you. Yep, this is the way we want to go. Back to... Wow, okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Here we go. This elevator. I remember this. Yeah, I'm at that moment of the Metroidvania where I'm a little unclear on where exactly we're supposed to go. But there really is only one choice for me at the moment because everything else seems gated away. In fact, really, when you look at this, it seems Partner Fennel was an optional boss. The only thing we got from there was a... A uh, health power-up. Do you think some of these characters would have new dialogue now that uh, we beat Fennel? Do you guys mind if I make a really quick run to talk to oh, the... Oh, I forget her name. I'm I'm embarrassed, but I don't remember her name. The, the witch who hangs out with the cats. I guess I gotta learn to do this Mega Man running around since we have this turbo... Turbo attack now, this... Oh wait, you're the... Right. You're the friendly shop person. I was like, enemy! Enemy spotted. Right, there was only the heart power up upstairs, so we'll just head this way. Oh, that's... that's unfortunate. I forgot to also hit that bell. There you are. This area has been declared forbidden by the nobility, so it's refreshing to see an outsider. Perhaps you should head to the castle. Just don't expect kindness from those who live there. You'll have to find a way on your own. Alright then, I think that was the same dialogue she said when we came here first time. Was it Cloetta? She had like a kind of a kind of an ostentatious name, but I my memory blanks out on what it was. Oh, that's cool. You don't lose your arrow charge, even if you make melee attacks. Good to know. Just gotta learn to keep my finger on this damn R1 button when I'm running about. That probably sounds easy to you guys at home, but I, uh... I have some challenge with that. Yeah, but it's cool when we pull it off. Although I suppose that'll get a little bit annoying to listen to, that, uh, sound of the, the charge all the time. Also, we apparently lose charge when you pray at the bell. Sure, makes sense. That's, that's fine. What was over there on that bottom route? I don't remember. We'll, we'll have to backtrack. If, if the Ashen Chambers is the wrong way, we'll backtrack to a bunch of these places. I'll try to figure out if there's something I've missed on my exploration. But I feel like this is our next path, is this right here. This cr crazy, crazy-ass stair. Stair, and it's a ladder, you silly billy. You'd think there'd be something here, because this little nook looks a little different from everything else. As far as I can tell, there isn't. So what was this? Cinder Chambers, not Ashen. Cavern. You're not friendly. I have to dispose of you, you... I don't know, you, you Ashen Witch. What the? That looked unpleasant. I don't know what caused that. Ooh. A spooky basement you guys got here, just saying. Now, I can't help but notice, but this looks like a point of no return if I drop down there, so... I am not gonna go down there first. We are gonna check out what's going on over here first. Duh. 
Can I make this jump? Yes, I can. A tiny little orb man. Eyeball dude. Okie dokie. Ooh, a little beetle. Ooh. Damn. So it doesn't do much, but he sure hits hard. Cool. I was worried for a second I wouldn't know how to take that fire witch out, but... This platform looks like it might do something, but it don't. Ooh. There's something over there. Huh. Yeah! Really? That's about it, huh? Well, isn't this all a little odd? Wasn't much there, if we're being honest. In the end, not, not a lot going on in that corner. There we go. What's going on here, then? White Leaf Memorial Park. Well, again, this isn't a point of no return, so I guess I'll check out this memorial park before I go any deeper in the caverns. Blech. Strange buzzy creature. Come on! Oh, oh that's, a, that's embarrassing. Moment of a lifetime, and then I bugged it. Well, it wasn't that dramatic, but... Ah, I see. It's a memorial park for the dead, by the looks of it. Those certainly look like tombstones in the background. You're also a villain, aren't you? You cute little... Uh, maybe a Mandragora, but I feel like there's also a... Another creature that's sort of like this. I guess a dryad, perhaps. I know, I know. There's some kind of weird. I don't. I forget the name of it, but there is a folklore. I want to say it's a Central Asian folklore, but I might even be wrong with that. It's a plant which flower, which spawns a sheep inside its flower, and it sends that sheep out. The sheep is attached by a vine to the plant. And that, like, lures unsuspecting folks to it. That didn't have any sheep on it, so I'm, I think... I don't know why I thought about that one right now. If someone remembers what that's called, let me know. Okay, so either this is uh, a route back, or we have to get some sort of big block skill to get through that one. Alright. Gonna try and remember all these various crazy routes. Strange critter. Unfortunately, I had to put you down so I could I could continue. Oh, another one. So these aren't unique enemies at all. They're just pretty hefty. There we go. All right. There's still a blood moon about. Oh wow, that kind of looks like there's a gap here, but that's not the case. Ah! Oh boy, I'm getting a swarmed! No, oh, not too bad. Ah! Another vitality fragment, thank you. So, we can't go any further in the memorial park. I'm not gonna jump on those spikes, you know how that'll end. So we need to double back. Unfortunately, there's a long way to get to a bell for a refill. Hmm. I kind of want to risk it, though, because this is a fair amount of progress we've made, and we've gotten a health refill as well, so I do kind of want to go back to that bell inside the monastery. I think it's the smart thing to do. Oh god, this spikes. I could have so easily pressed the wrong button and fallen on those. Let's... Oh, right, there's nothing here. Oh god, there's this beetle here, and here's this bomb chocolate. So th this I should come check out next, this one, because we don't know what's down there yet. I don't want to go down there 
to cause. I do want to get to a bell to refill. There could be a bell real nearby down one of these paths. I fully admit that. But damned if I don't want to play for sure, you know. The Forlorn Monastery. Man, everything sounds fancier in Fantasyland if you add the word forlorn in front of it. The Forlorn Drive-In Theater. Ooh. Ooh. The Forlorn DMV. Ooh. Spooky. Seems almost worth visiting that place, isn't it? The Forlorn Seed Bank. See, that sounds already kind of creepy. Like, what's going on at that seed bank if there's Forlorn? Oh. Those must be some bad seeds. Righto. Now I feel now I feel safer about this. So now it's uh, fall damage. Nope. Uh. We are also rolling in cash, by the way. It's a side effect because although although this is sort of kind of sort of kind of taking some inspiration from certain difficult games of the modern era, it doesn't use the same respawn mechanic. So it's not like we lose our lose our progress when we load up a save. Instead, it's more like, well, you know, we just have to do everything we haven't done again. All right, this is, we can come back here thanks to all these bounce pads. I don't like those, these steamy effects in this level. Like, okay, I do like them as an effect, but I mean, like, I'm getting serious agita that something's gonna pop out of one of them and be scary. Two ways we could go. Let's check out the right first. Yeah, huh. I'm gonna guess these are automatic kills, these spike balls. I have this weird feeling that they're gonna rock you. Does this connect back to where we saw? Let's check it out. Whoa! Aha! Uh -huh. Behind you. Ouch! And then the lantern drops. What an altogether rough fight. That's a button. I see. It's just a trap button. I see. It's a difficult jump to make as well. It looks like you come down from the other path over to there kind of look like to me and that trap is there that arrow trap you fall on top of it and you then you have to like deal with those arrows coming at you i think that's what was going on there oh it's asteroids suddenly you pull this trick you strange being of fire no let's not go there still let's still go over here rock that combo Oop. All good. Yeah, let's, uh... Do you want to kind of connect the map? Kind of like all careful about those little details, so... Oy! Well, better than getting smooshed by these spike balls. Taking a little hit from that guy. So I will go back there and fight that. That was a pretty rough fight against this uh, lantern bearer here. Ah oh, well, they're stun locked pretty easily. I don't want to make this jump again. Well, we know what's going on there. Oh wow, those flames lasted for a while, didn't they? Well, let's check this away then. Now I'm really starting to feel the Metroidvania -y aspects because this is a, a lot of paths, a lot of options on where to go. I'm sure they'll start to narrow in a second, but for now. We got options. Oh, hello there, salesperson. How can I help you? Hey, the Ring of Candor. And a red ring. Restored a small amount of HP per kill, but enemies won't drop money. Oh. It's an interesting trade-off, but I will take it. 
Ring of Candor emits a sound when it's near secrecy. Fascinating. Okay, well, let's see this. Uh... Mm, 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 mm. Cause I like the sound of the red ring definitely, but I do need a little bit of money. Like you don't know what else we're gonna be buying. So let's say that I grind back up to mm, oh, 500 monies. And then we'll put the red ring on for a bit. Why don't we? And what we'll do is we'll see once we get to another store, we can then figure out uh, how much money we actually need. I'll pop the red ring off if need be. Okay, well, let's go down next. Oh, what the? To drop in on her. Mind if I drop in? Curious this route here. So we are going deep on this land. Huh. Let's, uh... R Ring of Candor. It a sound when near secrecy. So... What a strange room. There's nothing to be found here. Alright then. And where was the fairy tier? We'll just keep that on for now. Ah, Bell. Bell here in the depths. Huh. Well, now I kind of want to backtrack to that place over there, the left path. Because this feels like we're just going deeper and deeper and deeper. So, so I have a little bit of intuition saying that that's maybe a short branch over there to the left. So let's go check that out next. Also, I kind of do want to double back to that top area now. I feel like we're going to end up dropping down here. So let's go check that next. Let's check those two off our exploration bus. And then we'll come back down here to the depths of the cinder. Cinder, whatever this was. Ugh. I should probably just kill that guy, shouldn't I? Oh well, too late. Aha! I knew that would block you. There we go. Oi! Ooh, that spooked me. So let's check this out. Oh, there's a door right there. Is it gonna be locked, do, 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 do you think? Locked. So we're not accessing that for the minute. Fair enough. Always good to check these, you know. I don't think that was a waste of time at all to verify that there's gonna be a loop back to that. What I do need to find out... Ah. There's such a difference, this small little elevation does, doesn't it? Yes, what I do need to find out is... What is over here to the right, then? Uh, oh. Thank you. This right here. Yeah, I feel like this is going back there. Oh, ooh. Nice. But first, we'll check this, because this seems to go... Another bell. Well, I'll be danged. Well, let's check this area first, I guess. Oh, okay. There was a trap there. Well played, Gabe. I did not paying attention at all. Okay, this should be a safe, like, little side area, because this just should end pretty quickly, shouldn't it? Oh, the statue was kind of threatening me there. Speaking of threatening, this guy. Come on, power up! Destroyed! Man, I don't know if it's worth it to grind up all this uh, charge. Like, it takes quite a long time, but I guess while we're running around, it's worth it. So that was one way only. Hmm... So it was. And I lost my charge, too. I'm still gonna run back and check if there's anything I missed on that tiny little drop there. I, I feel like there isn't. I feel like we kind of got everything, but... 
For completion's sake, let's just have a little look-see over there still. Like, I'm definitely feeling now that the next area of progress is... downwards. The bell that's down downstairs. But no reason for us not to check that area down there. Gonna take these guys out, because these fire witches will toss those stars at us. I'm not even sure if they're fire, but they have a kind of a flamey effect to their body, so... Mm -hmm. 